I want to share with you the most important lesson I've learned playing congas for worship music. This lesson helped me in every musical situation since, and I know it's one that'll help you take your playing to the next level. It's simple. For every conga pattern you play, whether it's a basic tumbao, 6-8, or a funk pattern, you should come up with variations on your original pattern. Having variations means options that you can play upon request. Plus, from time to time, I know I get bored of playing the same patterns and feel the need to change it up. So the following examples are based on how I approach making conga pattern variations. And if you're not playing in a church group, these skills are important for almost any live performance where the music needs to follow a story or a ceremony, like a wedding, for example, or, or uh, a musical, you know, playing in the pit. <laughs> Worship music, especially gospel, often has a lot of shuffle beats, so these 6-8 patterns, although you can play a shuffle pattern, the 6-8 patterns sound really good on a lot of those grooves. Another thing to consider is that you could play just one measure of these grooves, any of these examples. And that's your pattern. You can support the work I do with Rhythm Notes by subscribing to my newsletter, Rhythm Insider, at rhythminsider.com, and you'll receive lesson PDFs when videos are uploaded to YouTube. If you want full access to the Rhythm Notes lesson PDF library, go to patreon.com forward slash rhythm notes to join. Remember, the purpose of this lesson is to develop the ability to make phrases that can also develop. And, and you can do that by adding space, using just one measure from the example before developing it into a full two measures, or just changing up the drums, the tones, the slaps you're using to play the rhythm of the examples in this lesson. In other words, you can do a lot with just a little. Assuming that you're playing congas with a drum set player, these 6-8 patterns are intended to find a space in the rhythm section that adds to the groove without being in the way of the vocalists, other lead players, or any spoken word elements of the worship service. This whole video on conga drumming and worship music was inspired by a request for more funk patterns that work with gospel. So there's no difference between the funk patterns for funk music and the funk patterns for gospel music when you're playing funk. Try these funk R&B patterns and remember that we're trying to find places to stay out of the way when necessary and to develop the pattern by adding or subtracting tones and slaps to support the worship service. It's important to decide whether the groove sounds better with more or less syncopation and if the pattern should be more or less busy, which 
usually depends on how many open tones and slaps you're playing. One and two and three and four and. If you like this video and you want to watch more, check out this video over here. And if you want access to Rhythm Notes Lesson PDF Library with dozens of PDFs, click or tap the screen over here to join my Patreon. Thanks for watching.